Hi there, I'm Erin with Five Parks Yoga. Thank you so much for joining me for class today. Today's class is being filmed in beautiful Salida, Colorado at Moonstone Farm and Retreat Center. Class today is going to be geared toward mindful motivation. And before we begin, I'd like to take a moment to thank my YouTube subscribers and members and my Patreon supporters. I'm so grateful for your support. If you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. And if you like this class, hit the thumbs up icon for a like. And don't forget to comment below with um, thoughts and class requests. We're gonna start today in a comfortable seated position. So that can look any way that works for you. You can come into a cross-legged position, half lotus, full lotus position, you can come onto your shins. Any position that allows you to keep your spine nice and long so that you can lift through the crown of your head and stay upright. Because we're gonna begin this practice by connecting to the breath. And the breath is going to be the foundation of our practice throughout. So I will continue to remind you to check in with your breath as you move. So this is a moving meditation and it is backed with intention and purpose. So you can find a comfortable place to gaze out on the floor in front of you, or you can close your eyes if you feel centered and balanced. To begin, let's take a big breath in through the nose and hold it at the top. When you're ready, release it through your mouth. Nice, long, slow, smooth exhale. Now breathe in again and again, hold it at the top. This time though, breathe out through your nose. Again, long, steady, and slow. Keep your lips closed, keep your eyes closed, or softly gazing as you continue to breathe in and out through your nose. Feel your sitting bones on the floor. Feel the crown of your head reaching up toward the ceiling or the sky, wherever you're practicing. And just notice the pace and the rhythm of your breath. And notice the spaces between the inhale and the exhale, that pause at the top and the bottom of your breath. In doing this, it allows you to find a steady rhythm to your breath and to be more mindful about each breath as you lengthen and steady each inhale and each exhale. So let's take three more breaths here. And as you do so, set an intention for your practice. So you've already arrived on your mat. You're already in this space. You've already committed this time. So what is it that you want to manifest during this time on your mat? Energy in your body, peace in your mind, and whatever that intention is for you, just anchor it into your heart, anchor it into your mind as we begin to move. On your next breath in, lift your arms up overhead. We're gonna warm up the spine in all directions. So to begin, come off to the left, take your left hand to the floor, bring your right arm up and over across your body, stretching through your right side. Keep your sitting bones grounded on the floor. As you breathe in, come back to center, both arms reaching up overhead. As you breathe out, come off to the right, reaching your left arm up and across, opening up the left side of your body. As you breathe in, come back to center. As you breathe out, twist, bringing your right hand to your left knee, your left hand out behind. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out through your nose, twist a little bit deeper, looking out over your shoulder and listen to the sound of your breath. Breathe in, come back to center, reaching both arms up overhead. Breathe out, twisting to the left, bringing your left hand to your right knee, your right hand out behind. Breathe in here. As you breathe out, twist a little bit deeper, looking out over your shoulder, completing your exhale here. Breathe in, come back to center. 
As you breathe out, bring both hands behind you, tent your fingertips. Inhale, lift your chest, lift your chin, take your gaze up. And as you exhale, come back to center, taking your hands to your knees and bringing your chin to your chest. Now pause here and then gently rock your neck side to side, opening up your neck and your shoulders and your upper back, side to side. Okay, <clears throat> make your way back to a neutral spine and then go ahead and release from your seated position and come into a tabletop position, taking your hands underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips. And let's take three rounds of cat and cow. So breathing in, drop your belly, lift your tailbone and the crown of your head, arching your spine. Breathe out, round your spine, bring your chin toward your chest, look toward your belly button. Breathe in, come to cow pose. Breathe out, round into cat pose. And one more of each. Breathe in, come to cow pose. Breathe out, come to cat. Now retu return to tabletop, flat back. Coming into spinal balance, keep your right knee and your left hand grounded. Extend your right arm forward and your left leg back. Keep your hips and shoulders level. Keep your gaze down at your yoga mat. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, bring your elbow toward your knee, round your spine, and just activate your core here. Inhale, come back to spinal balance, and then exhale, return to tabletop. Let's switch sides. Send your left arm forward and your right leg back. Keep your hips and your shoulders level. Take a deep breath in, reaching. Take a deep breath out, rounding, elbow to knee. Inhale, return to, table, or to spinal balance, and then exhale, return to tabletop. Let's stretch the low back and the hips in extended child's pose. Bring your knees wide, bring your big toes to touch toward your heels, walk your hands forward, rest your forehead down on your mat. Take a deep breath in. Listen to the sound of your breath as you exhale through your nose. One more inhale. And exhale. Keep your hips and your legs as they are. Keep your right arm extended and slide your left arm underneath your right. Come onto your left shoulder and your left ear, stretching out the back of your left arm. And switch sides. So extend your left arm long, slide your right arm underneath your left, come onto your right shoulder and your right ear. Breathe in and out. Extend your right arm long, bring your forehead back to your mat and take one more breath. From extended child's pose, make your way to downward facing dog. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes under, lift your hips, release your heels down toward your mat. Look back at your feet. Make sure that your heels are disappearing behind your toes. Fingers are spread wide, head is hanging heavy, so there's no tension in your neck. Take another full breath in downward facing dog. You're always welcome in any posture, but especially in this posture, to take any movements that feel good in your body. You can bend and straighten your legs, you can wobble out your head, whatever feels right for you and your body in this moment. Complete your exhale. Look toward the front of your mat, walk your feet to meet your hands, bend your legs a lot, rest your torso on your legs, and then take opposite hand to opposite elbow for ragdoll. Again, your head hangs heavy, lengthening through the back side of your body, letting gravity do its work to elongate your spine. So focusing here on the back more than the hamstrings, the backs of the legs. Complete your exhale, release your hands down to the floor, and then slowly roll your way up to a standing position. 
Once you're upright, come into mountain pose. Spread your toes wide, feet right under your hips. Roll your shoulders away from your ears. Palms face out. Find a place out in front of you on the floor to gaze. Keep that gaze steady. And as you breathe in, lift your hands up overhead. Connect the palms of your hands. And as you exhale, bring your hands through your heart, down, all the way until you return to mountain, completing your exhale. Inhale, bring your arms all the way up to tall mountain. Connect the palms of your hands. Exhale through heart center. And again. Going at your own pace. And we'll take one more. Inhale, tall mountain. Exhale, mountain. Inhale, return to tall mountain. Encircle your right wrist with your left hand. Breathe in, reach through your fingertips. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale through center, release your wrist. Switch sides. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale back to center. Exhale, cactus your arms, lift your chin, draw your elbows down. Inhale back to tall mountain. And then exhale, hands through your heart. You can bend your legs if you'd like and you come all the way down into standing forward fold. So this time we're working more on the backs of our legs, lengthening our hamstrings, head continues to hang heavy. Exhale. On your next breath in, come up to a halfway lift. So you can have your hands on the floor, on your shins, on your thighs, just nice flat back here. As you exhale, come a little bit deeper into your standing forward fold. One more time, breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out, standing forward fold. Plant your hands on your mat and step back to a high plank pose and hold here. So we're going to build a little bit of heat in the core, well, in the entire body. If you need a modification for high plank pose for any reason, you can drop your knees down onto the floor. Otherwise, we're building that internal heat, that discipline, that forward momentum as we hold this pose for three and two and one. Now shift forward and lower all the way down onto your belly. Take the tops of your feet flat to the floor. Keep your hands where they are. Breathe in, peel your chest up off the floor for low lift cobra. Hold here. Option to maybe lift your hands up off of your mat. So building heat in the back body. So feel the entire length of your back working to hold you here. Take one more breath in and exhale, release all the way down. Bring your forehead to your mat, tucking your toes under, press up to high plank, press back to downward facing dog. On your next breath in, lift your right leg up in preparation to step forward to low lunge. Land your right foot between your hands and then nice and slow with control, rise up to crescent lunge, keeping your heel up off the floor, reaching up through your fingertips, lowering your shoulders away from your ears. Feel the foundation of your body, your feet on the floor, the strength of your legs, and then the lift through the top of your head and your fingertips as you breathe in. And then exhale, warrior two, land your left heel on the floor, open up to the side, gaze out across your front fingertips. As you breathe in, into reverse warrior, slide your left hand down your left leg, bring your right arm up and back, and then exhale, side angle pose, bringing your right fingertips to the floor, left fingertips to the ceiling. Alternative, to take your right elbow to your right knee, or your left arm up and over as you hold for one more full breath. Complete your exhale. Inhale, come up to star. Toes point out, palms face out. Chin lifts up off the chest. Exhale, hands to your heart, squat down. 
Take a nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, bring your hands to your knees and then dip your right shoulder in, look to the left, twisting through your spine, opening up through your inner thighs. Come back to center as you breathe in. As you breathe out, dip your left shoulder in, look out over your right shoulder. Breath in, come back to center, bring your hands to your heart, your shoulders right back up over your hips. And then come back to five-pointed star. Exhale this time, standing straddle splits. Bring your heels behind your toes. Come all the way down. Hold here for three breaths. You can take your hands to your hips, thighs, ankles, or floor. Let your head be heavy for one more full round of breath. As you breathe in, rise up. And then as you breathe out, return to warrior two facing the front of your mat. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, low lunge, plant both of your hands, lift your heels, step back, high plank. Shift forward as you breathe out, lower halfway or all the way down. This is Chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog or cobra. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in and out. We're gonna take those same postures on the other side. So breathe in, lift your left leg high. As you breathe out, step forward, plant your foot between your hands. Slowly, with your breath, rise up to crescent lunge. Feel the groundedness of your feet, the strength in your legs, the lift in your fingertips as you take another inhale. And then exhale, open up to warrior two. Gaze out across your front fingertips. Breathe in, reverse warrior. And then exhale, side angle pose. So any of those variations we did on the other side are available. And this side might not look exactly the same as the other side, and that's okay. Complete your exhale. Inhale, rise back up to star. <clears throat> exhale, hands to your heart. Come down into your squat. And then return right away to star as you breathe in. Exhale, standing straddle splits. Heels behind your toes, hinge from your hips. Come all the way down and hold for three breaths. Your head is below your heart. Slow your breathing down, calming your nervous system, reversing the flow of blood. Exhale here. As you rise up, return to star. Breathe out, warrior two, face the front of your mat. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, low lunge. Step back to high plank pose and then lower down. Big breath in as you come back to upward dog or cobra and exhale, return to downward facing dog. On your next breath in, lift your right leg up. Breathe out, come into half pigeon pose. Bring your right knee toward your right wrist, right toes toward your left wrist. Breathe in, lift through the crown of your head, stretch through the front of your body. Breathe out, lower down, bringing your forehead to your mat. Take one full round of breath here. Tuck your toes under, press back up onto your heels, lift your knee up off the floor, inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge. Okay, so those same postures, you know where we're going. Breathe in, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, star. Exhale, squat. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two. Look at the front of your mat. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high plank. 
Exhale, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Big breath out, return to downward facing dog. Reconnect with your breath. Inhale to three-legged dog. Exhale, prepare for half pigeon pose. Left knee toward your left wrist, left toes toward your right wrist. Breathe in, stretch up, open through the front of your body. Breathe out, bring your forehead toward your mat. One full round of breath. As you inhale, come back up onto your hands. Tuck your back toes under. Return to downward facing dog. Full round of breath here. Exhale, balancing the intensity with the groundedness and connection to your breath. Being mindful in your movements. Let's continue from here, moving toward the front of our mat, making our way to standing forward fold. Now, bring your hips low and your arms high for chair pose. Hold here for another full round of breath. And then inhale, come back up to tall mountain, look up towards your fingertips. Exhale, cactus your arms, drawing your elbows down, lifting your chin off of your chest. Inhale, tall mountain, rise up. Exhale, standing forward, fold, hinge from your hips, come all the way down, bringing your hands toward the floor. Inhale, halfway lift, nice flat back. Exhale, standing forward, fold. Step back to high plank, exhale, lower down. Inhale, press up to upward facing dog. Exhale, return to downward facing dog. Breathe in. Complete your exhale here. Let's continue to build momentum and focus in some balancing postures. So let's return to the front of our mat. Release to standing forward fold. Inhale, chair pose hips down, arms up, and then exhale, let's balance. Come into balanced chair, lifting your heels up off of your mat, reaching your arms back, squeezing the backs of your arms, keeping a steady gaze down at one unmoving spot on the floor. Lift your heels a little bit higher. If you come out of the balance, just return. Come right back to it. All right, let's release the heels to the mat, lift the arms up, and then exhale, standing forward fold. So begin to straighten the legs, come all the way forward, bringing your hands in the direction of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Step back, high plank pose, and lower all the way down onto your belly. Extend your right arm to the right, Keep your left hand underneath your left shoulder. Let's roll in the direction of the right arm, bringing your left leg up and over, planting your foot on the floor. Big breath in. And out. Come back through center. Extend your left arm to the left, right hand under right shoulder. Bring your right leg up and over, planting your foot on the floor. Full breath in and out. Come back to center. Bring your left hand underneath your left shoulder. Tuck your toes under. Press up high plank. Either knees on or off the floor and back to downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up as you breathe in and step forward as you breathe out. Let's balance again. So inhale to crescent. We've been here before, nice steady foundation. And now we're gonna come on to one leg. So lift your left leg up off the floor. You can bring your arms alongside your body, gaze down, hips level, shoulders level. 
Feel the strength of your foundation, your foot grounded on the floor, your gaze focused and determined. And then as you breathe out, set your left foot down on the floor. Inhale, return to crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, star, and then exhale, squat, bringing your hands to your heart. Like we did in chair pose, let's lift the heels up off the floor. Really working the bottoms of the feet, the ankles, the calves, and the shins. Keep that steady focus, determined, disciplined, dedicated. Release your heels to the floor, rise up, five-pointed star. Exhale, standing straddle splits, come all the way down. Keep your right hand on the floor, come up to a halfway lift, flat back, lift your left arm up, twisting in the spine. Look toward your left fingertips. If you want a deeper shoulder stretch or chest opener, take your left hand toward your right hip, roll your left shoulder open, if you're there, bring your left hand back up toward the ceiling. Exhale, release back to the floor. Switch sides. Extend your right hand up toward the ceiling. Look toward your fingertips. If you want to open the shoulder a little bit more, take your right hand toward your left hip. Roll your right shoulder open. Come back reaching your right hand up, and then let's all meet in standing straddle splits. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two, face the front of your mat. Reverse warrior, low lunge, high plank, lower down. Press up to upward facing dog or cobra and press back to downward facing dog. We're gonna balance an airplane on the other side. So lift your left leg up, step forward to low lunge, placing your left foot between your hands. With control, rise up to crescent lunge in preparation for airplane pose. Step onto your left foot, lift your right leg up off of your mat. Keep your hips level, keep your shoulders squared, keep your gaze steady. Step lightly back into airplane lunge. Lift your arms up for crescent lunge. Open up to warrior two, star, and standing straddle splits. Hinge from your hips, come all the way down. This is a great place if you'd like to balance on your head so you can come into a headstand from this position. If you're not going to take that inversion, you are still getting inversion, an inversion. So hang here with your head below your heart. On your next breath in, come back to star. Exhale, warrior two, face the front of your mat. Reverse warrior, low lunge, high plank, lower down. We're all gonna be back at downward facing dog. From here, walk your hands to your feet so that you're in standing forward fold at the back of your mat. Heel toe your feet together so your big toes are touching and then rise back up to tall mountain. From here, we're going to take tree pose. So bring your hands to your heart to start. Stand on your left foot, bring your right foot into a kickstand. Bring it to your ankle, calf, or inner thigh. Once again, find that focus, that steady gaze right away. Keep your gaze steady, keep your breath flowing. Feel your foot steady on the ground. Feel the lift through the crown of your head. Return to your intention. You are here now, committed 
to this time to connect to your body, your breath. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, release. And let's switch sides. Bring your hands to your heart, take your weight onto your right foot, bring your left foot to ankle, calf, or inner thigh. Find a steady place to gaze. Option to lift your arms up. You are here now in your body, in this space. Bring your hands back to your heart. If they're not there already, bring your left foot to meet your right, hands down by your side. Breathe in, bring your arms up overhead. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart, and then heel toe your feet out just a little bit wider than your hips with your toes pointing out, and then squat down, all the way down as far as you can go. Your heels may naturally lift off the floor, or they may stay planted. Separating the inner thighs, keeping the spine nice and long. Continue working with the breath as you stretch through the hips, the low back. Take one more inhale. And then as you exhale, release your hands down to your mat Keep your left leg where it is, and then step your right foot back behind you so you're in a wide-legged low lunge. So we're gonna move into some deep stretches here. So to start, you're on your hands, you're extending your spine nice and long. As we move on, release the right knee down onto the floor. You can take your right foot flat, roll onto the outer edge of your left foot, Bring your left hand to your left knee and then press it open as you twist in the spine and look back. Hold here for three breaths. Can you feel into the stretch? Can you use your exhales to go a little bit deeper? It doesn't have to be much. Just adjust as you settle in here. Bring your left hand back down onto your mat, tuck your toes under, lift your knee up off the floor, and then step back to downward facing dog. Look toward your hands. Now you can step, step, walk, or float your feet to the outside of your hands. We're returning to Malasana. Bring your elbows to your knees, your tailbone toward the floor, and the crown of your head up. We're gonna move into a twist. So bring your right hand to the floor, bring your left arm up, look up towards your fingertips. And then we're just gonna sweep that down, take our left hand to the floor, reach the right arm up, look up towards your right fingertips. And then bring your right hand back down. Now keep your right foot right where it is, step your left foot back so you're in wide-legged low lunge. Reach through the crown of your head so your spine is nice and long. Now, release your left knee down to the floor. Take the top of your left foot flat to the floor. Now, roll onto the outer edge of your right foot and bring your right hand to your right knee. Now, twist. You can look back toward your back foot. If that doesn't feel comfortable or balanced, you can always keep your gaze on the floor Let your exhales guide you deeper into the pose. Stay committed to the breath. Feel the stretch in your body and just notice. And lean into any discomfort, knowing if you need to back off. And complete your exhale here. Bring your hand back to the floor, tuck your toes under, lift your knee. Step back. Downward facing dog. 
Breathe in and out. Okay, we're returning to Malasana again. Step, walk, float, your feet outside of your hands. Now notice the difference in this low squat compared to your first low squat. We're only going to be here for one more breath. Now bring your hands behind you, come down onto your sitting bones, and just lift your feet up off the floor for three breaths in boat pose. Reconnect to your core as you lift your chest, steady your gaze, finding that discipline, determination, and focus. For one more breath. Okay, now slowly roll down onto your back, keep your legs bent, place your feet on the floor. Your hands, your arms rest alongside your body. Press into your heels. As you breathe in, lift your hips up off the floor, rolling up into bridge pose. You can roll your shoulders underneath. If you'd like, you can take chest expansion, interlacing your hands below your hips, lifting your hips a little bit higher, keeping your chin away from your chest. And you stay here for one more breath. Roll all the way back down onto your back, resting your hips down on the floor. Extend your left leg along on your mat. Draw your right knee in, interlace your fingers around your right knee, flex both feet back toward both knees. Bring your right knee toward your right shoulder, elbows in and down. Complete your exhale. Draw that knee a little bit closer to your shoulder. Now bring your knee back towards center. Extend your right foot up toward the ceiling. Take hold of the back of your right leg. Flex and point your right foot. Draw circles in one direction. Draw circles in the other direction. Walk your hands up the back of your right leg, lifting your shoulders up off of your mat, drawing your forehead toward your knee your knee towards your forehead. Just increasing the stretch in the back of the right leg and keeping your core engaged the entire time. All right, let's switch sides now. So extend your right leg long on your mat, bring your left knee in and release your hands around your left knee. Bring your left knee to the left and up toward your left shoulder. Flex your feet back. Continue with your deep breathing, staying present as you hold the pose, compressing your left hip. Complete your exhale. Bring your left knee back towards center Extend your left foot up toward the ceiling. Hold on to the back of your left leg. Now point and flex your left foot. Draw circles in one direction. Draw circles in the other direction. Now walk your hands up the back of your left leg, lifting your shoulders up off of your mat. Bring your forehead towards your knee your knee towards your forehead, stretching the back of your left leg, keeping your core engaged. All right, lower your shoulders back down onto your mat. Now bring both knees into your chest. For knees to chest pose, 
Wrap your arms around your knees. You can take opposite hand to wrist or elbow, or you can just hold onto your knees with your hands. Keep your knees and your feet side by side. Just working toward elongating the spine flat to the floor. Take one more breath here. If your arms are wrapped around your legs, bring your hands to your knees, roll the length of your spine and come up onto your knees. Come to kneeling. And from here, we're gonna take camel pose. So camel pose is a huge heart opener and a throat opener. So before we begin, just return to your intention. Bring your hands to your low back. You can have your feet flat or your toes tucked. Press your hips slightly forward, lift your chin up off of your chest. You can stay here or you can take one hand or both hands to your heels. Look back, breathe into your chest, open your throat. If your hands are at your heels, bring them to your low back. Come all the way back up to kneeling and then sit your hips to your heels, rest your hands on your thighs and just feel the energy that you've created in your heart space, in your throat space. You can even bring one or both hands to your heart. And from here, we're gonna Lower down into embryo pose with an option to come into rabbit pose. So for embryo pose, you're gonna roll down, actually for both poses, roll down, bring your forehead to your mat. You can rest your arms alongside your body. If you'd like to move into rabbit, take your hands where they are and then wrap them around your heels. Keep a nice steady grip on your heels and then you can lift your hips up off of your heels. Coming onto the crown of your head without a lot of weight. As you press your hips forward, feel your shoulder blades separate and feel that really deep stretch in your upper back. And then if you're in rabbit, bring your hips back to your heels and let's all roll all the way up together. Cross over your ankles, come into a seated position and let's take butterfly pose. Bring the soles of your feet together. Bring your hands around your ankles. Lift through the crown of your head as you breathe in. Bring your elbows toward your knees and then hinge forward. Three breaths. Long, slow, smooth, and steady. Staying committed to your breathing practice until the very end of class. Complete your exhale. Release from butterfly or release from your fold and then let's come into half Lord of the Fishes for a seated twist. Bring your knee, left knee down toward the floor. Bring your right foot up and over your right hand behind. Lift up as you breathe in through your left fingertips. And then as you exhale, hook your left elbow to the outside of your right knee and look out over your back shoulder. One more breath. And let's switch sides. Release from your twist and switch your legs. Right knee is gonna to come toward the floor. Left foot comes up and over. Sitting bones are grounded, left hand out behind. Breathe in, lift your right arm up. Breathe out, hook your right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Look out over your shoulder. One more, inhale and exhale. Release from your twist, take both feet flat to the floor, 
lower down onto your back, and then lift your feet up off the floor and come into happy baby. Separate your knees and your feet, hold on to whatever is accessible to you. You can hold here, or you can rock side to side. And just massaging out your low back as you open up your inner thighs and your hips. Come back to center if you're rocking side to side. Bring both knees back into your chest. Bring your forehead towards your knees. Tuck in tight. And then release to Shavasana. Our final posture of class, the most important posture of this practice. Bring your legs wide, feet fall open. Rest your arms alongside your body, palms face up. Take a deep breath in through your nose and hold it at the top. Ready, just as we began, release it through your mouth. Your breathing practice is over, so come back to the natural rhythm of your breath. So, no attention to the breath, no effort toward the breath, just complete relaxation. Feel the weight of your body resting on your mat, resting on the floor beneath you. Notice the thoughts passing through your mind, committing to not attach to any one single thought, but to be present in your body space committed to your intention and present awareness and release. and your attention to your toes and fingers, gently wiggling them out, moving up to your ankles and your wrists, rolling them out. Make your way to a full body stretch. Bring your feet together, bring your arms up overhead, breathe in deeply, stretch as long as you can, and then roll onto your side. Cradle your head in your arms. Bring your knees in. Pause here. Bring to your mind your intention with a sense of gratitude for being in this space, in this beautiful location, on your mat, in your body committed to care for yourself. When you're ready, press your way up to a seated position. Cross-legged or otherwise, bring your hands to your heart. Breathe deeply in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Today, as you go forward, may you have peace in your thoughts, peace in your words, and peace in your heart. From my heart to each and every one of yours, namaste.